Hello students, in this video we will discuss example 5 of trigonometry chapter. If the arc of the same length in two circles, subtend angles 65 degree and 110 degree at the center, find the ratio of their radii. We have two arcs of the same length and let the length be L. This arc is of this circle and this arc is of this circle. Next, in two circles, subtend angles of 65 degree and 110 degree. So in first circle, it subtends an angle of 65 degree. That is theta here is 65 degree and theta here is 110 degrees. Next, find the ratio of their radii. So the radius of this circle be R1 and the radius of this circle be R2. Now we need to find the ratio of R1 and R2. That's what the question mentions. Find the ratio of their radii. From this relation, theta is equals to L by R we have L is equals to R into theta, where L is length of arc, R is radius and theta is angle. Theta is a central angle. In this case, length of the two arcs is same, but the radius are different and the central angle theta are also different. So for the circle 1, L is equals to R1 into theta 1 and for the circle 2, L will be equals to R2 into theta 2. Here the length of two arcs are same. The length of two arcs here are same. That's why we can equate R1 into theta1 is equals to R2 into theta2. Theta1 is 65 degree and theta2 is 110 degrees. But here in this relation theta will always be in radians and not degrees. That's why we need to convert this degrees into radians. For that we multiply 65 into pi by 180 and 100 degrees into pi by 180. You can cancel this with the table of phi and what you get is 13 pi by 36. And here 0, 0 get cancels. What remains is 11 pi by 18. As we need to find the ratio of two radii, we'll take r terms on one side and the pi terms on other side. Now r1 by r2 is equals to 11 pi by 18 into 36 upon 13 pi. So here pi and pi get cancelled. After the simplification, what you get is 22 by 13. So the final ratio is 22 is to 13. R1 is to R2 is equal to 22 is to 13. I hope you followed. This example is same as question number 6 of exercise 3.1. So I encourage you to solve question number 6 from exercise on your own. And if you have any questions, let me know in comments. And if you want me to solve any particular questions, you can always let me know. Thank you students.